This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learn something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. Scrolling through Excel is a very common task. So let's go take a look at how you can scroll with the scroll bar and without the scroll bar. I'm going to jump down here into my taskbar and click in Excel. And what you can see is that I'm in a plain Excel spreadsheet. I'm simply going to make cell A1 yellow so that you can see quickly and easily when I get back to the beginning because you'll see the yellow spot there. Also, I want you to notice we're on column A at the left and one at the top. So we're at the very, very top of the spreadsheet in cell A1. And across the right-hand side, or excuse me, I should say down the right-hand side, we have a scroll bar. And I want you to notice that the scroll bar, it really doesn't have very far to scroll. I go from being able to see rows one through 15 and a half to being able to see down to 20 and a half. So it doesn't go very, very far. So take note of that. And all I'm doing is clicking on the bar, holding my left mouse and pulling down. That's all I'm doing to make that scroll up and down. Now you can also go into the area below the bar. You're in this area, some people call it like the elevator shaft, right? It's the part where the um, scroll bar scrolls into and you can click and it just moves you through it also, but you'll notice this one took me a little further. It took me down to row 30. And then you can do the same thing. You can click into the area that's not a scroll bar and it goes back to cell A1. The arrows also, the arrow at the top and the arrow at the bottom, if you just click and hold, it just keeps going, 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 going until you let go of the left mouse button. So I stopped at 65, but you can just keep going, 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 going if you want to. And remember, all I did was click the arrow and hold. Now you'll notice across the bottom, you also have scroll bars. And once again, this scroll bar ends here, right? There's not a lot of area. So we have, uh, let's see, columns A through N, and we scroll over and it only goes one more column to O. But let's take a look at a few things you can do to change that. Moving to the left of the scroll bar, there's a dotted line there. And when you move your mouse onto it, your mouse changes to that arrow that has a vertical, double vertical line and two arrows. If you click and drag to the left, your scroll bar is going to grow larger. If you click and drag to the right, it grows smaller, it shrinks. I shouldn't have said grows, it shrinks, right? It makes it smaller. Now the reason that you would do this might be because you have multiple sheet tabs, it might be because you simply like a larger scroll bar, but the point is you can adjust the size of that scroll bar. So now let's see, we shift up, still only down to column O. So even though we made the scroll bar larger, it didn't actually make the scrolling capability any larger. Again, you have arrows, left and right, so you can make your way through by just clicking, I'm just clicking and holding, right? And it's just scrolling me down through the columns. And you'll notice once you get past Z, it has to go A, B, A, C, A, D, so on and so forth through, through the alphabet. Okay, well, I said I was gonna show you ways that you can scroll with and without the scroll bar. So here's another option for you. I'm gonna go back to the top, but I'm showing here, I'm in row 66 through 80 and column AJ through AW, and I wanna go all the way to the top. Fastest way to get there is actually a keyboard shortcut. You hold down the control key on your keyboard and you hit home. There we are, there's our yellow spot again, right? Control home will take you to the very, very beginning. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just randomly click on a cell. I ended up on I9 and I'm just going to type the word test in here and then click back onto another sheet. And I wanna show you what happens when you do control end, E-N-D. Control end takes you to the last location that you've typed. So control home takes you to the very beginning. You see now my active cell is A1. And let me show you one way you can tell visually what's active is up here, this area called the name box, it tells me that the active cell is A1. Also, do you notice that the A is gray, a little more so than any of the other columns, and the one is a little darker than the two or any of the others also? That indicates where you are. Control end will take me down to I9, and once again, the, the name box tells me I'm in I9, and the I and the nine are a little darker, a little gray, a little more gray. Well, let's talk, another, or let's talk about another option. Again, it's not officially scrolling, but it's like scrolling. 
you take your mouse up into the name box, and when you click in the name box, you simply type where you want to go. Let's go to Z100. So Z100. And then you hit the Enter key on your keyboard, and now you can see that my cell, my active cell, is Z100. And you can see it two ways. One, it's in the name box, and two, the Z is gray and the 100 is gray. Let's just make that yellow to make it show up a little bit better. Remember how to go to the top? Control Home gets us all the way to the beginning. But now, the furthest we've been, Control End is Z100 because I put color in there and that made it active. So the very end of our spreadsheet is going to be Z100. Well, keyboard people, you also have the arrows on your keyboard. So you just find the arrows on your keyboard. I'm just holding the up arrow. And if you watch over at st I stop, just so you can get your eyes focused there on the row headings, the numbers, and you'll notice they're just scrolling along. So you can go up, and using the left arrow, I can go over. So now I'm back at A1 pretty quickly. I'm back at A1. Also, the Enter key moves you down. And if you want to go up, Shift Enter. So Shift Enter will take you up. To go to the right, Tab. To go to the left, Shift Tab. Now, some people are saying, but Sherry, that's not scrolling. Well, it depends. You know, personalities make a difference. You can decide what you like. If I just click and hold my Tab, I can move pretty quickly. Look, I'm already at BE. That didn't take all that long to get out there. So some people prefer that over grabbing their mouse, going down to the bottom, grabbing the scroll bar, and doing something with the scroll bar. I'm just scrolling to the left here. So it's all personal preference. Do any way you would like to do. So use your mouse and click on a cell. Now you can see C2 is the active. And I can use my wheel. So the wheel on my mouse, I'm just pulling down. And the wheel on my mouse is scrolling quite quickly. Because look, I'm already at row 735. And that's just pulling the wheel toward me. Pulling the wheel toward you makes your numbers larger. It's pushing the wheel away from you makes your numbers smaller. And that also scrolls quickly. Now, I want to show you one more, because if you ever do this, you'll be thinking, oh my gosh, how did I do that, right? That was absolutely crazy. Remember your arrow keys? Your arrow keys move you up, down, left, and right. There, I should say it as I do it. Up, down, left, and right. If you accidentally or intentionally hold down your control key and hit the right arrow, I'm at the very last column on an Excel spreadsheet, and that's column XFD. And if I hold Control and hit the down arrow, I'm on the very last row of the spreadsheet, which is 1,048,576. So if you ever do that, you'll be thinking, oh my gosh, how did I get there? You'll know. You'll know you just accidentally or intentionally held down the Control key and used your arrows. But you also know how to get back. If you want to go to a specific cell, click in your name box. I want to go to B12 and hit Enter and it will take you there. Or if you want to go all the way to the beginning, Control Home. So you can see now that there are a lot of options out here for moving around your Excel spreadsheet. And the last thing I want to show you is how big your Excel spreadsheet is. So in the top left-hand corner, just to the left of A is my active cell here in the left, and 1. Just to the top and left of that, there's a little box there. And if you click and hold it, oh, my, I'm sad. My, um, my, my, resolution on my computer is a little bit too big, so I can't see inside of this box right here, and I'm not able to make it any larger. But on your computer, hold this, and it will tell you how much space you actually have on your Excel spreadsheet. It tells you how many rows you have and how many columns you have on your Excel spreadsheet. And what you're going to discover is it's quite large. Now, I also want you to notice that something that I've done is I've actually made every cell in my workbook, or excuse me, not my workbook, on this sheet, I've made every cell active. So I'm simply going to do Control Home to just take me back to cell A1. So aren't there a lot of ways? Many, many ways that you can move around inside of your Excel spreadsheet. So now you have no excuse for slow movement, right? Because now you know a lot of very, very fast ways that you can motivate yourself to get to the beginning, get to the end, get to the right, top, bottom, left whichever direction you want to go. Just use your preferred method. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.